Really sound planning is a number of things. Uh, it begins, I think, by thinking it was a process. So when buildings are being created, they start with initial investment decisions, which then leads into uh, appraisal, doing financial appraisals, looking at land and assembling land, uh, going through planning um, and design work, then putting together a construction team with a range of different people uh, inputting, uh, building the scheme, and then um, actually managing the property once it's constructed. So there's a whole stream of activities that occur in real estate and planning. So when people study real estate and planning at university, they have to study different aspects, including economics, law, uh, construction, planning, um, investment and finance, um, and management. So in that sense, it's a range of different subject areas that are applied to a sector of business, which is the sector dealing with real estate. People should study uh, real estate and planning for a number of reasons. It deals with key issues in society, so, so issues like uh, providing housing for people's needs, uh, providing housing and other forms of development in a sustainable way, um, dealing with globalisation and the, the interaction of global business, uh, providing for that business, but again in a sustainable way. Because it's hard work and creative and in, in requires intelligence, it's also well rewarded. We work really hard here in real estate and planning at Henley Business School to provide a really lively and varied learning environment. So there's lots of input throughout the three years or even four years of our undergraduate programme of input from industry. So you'll be meeting professionals who work in property. In fact, they'll often be judging your presentations. You'll be doing Dragon's Den style assignments. You'll be doing lots of group work. So not just sitting in a lecture theatre.